International Finance Corporation, um, we know is funding uh, education development, um, but it in, it would appear from even what the uh, independent evaluation group from within the World Bank, who always, uh, it's a group within the World Bank that kind of scrutinises World Bank activity, are concerned, and as they should be, that the bank, um, that the IFC tends to be funding uh, private schools for the middle class and so on. So despite the fact that the bank has a pro-poor um, uh, rhetoric and the IFC um, uh, narrates that, tells us that it also has a pro-poor agenda, the Bretton Woods group that monitors bank activity, but even indeed the independent evaluation group within the World Bank is seriously concerned as to the kind of activity. So your question, what kind of activity? Um, it's activity that seems to favour uh, the middle class. So these are expensive boarding schools for middle class families in the context of Africa. If we took uh, our way to places like India, um, it has been very interested in trying to advance uh, not uh, better state-regulated provision, but provision outside of the state sector. Um, and I would want to kind of ask the question why it uh, the bank isn't looking at strengthening, uh, trying to strengthen uh, state-funded activity. The bank is a bank, um, it, uh, and it adopts a very particular kind of ideology around consumerism and, um, and so on. So it has a kind of... Um, a framing of education activity in completely economic terms. Now, I would want to dispute that it is uh, a purely economic activity. I would want to argue very hard that, in fact, it's um, it's a societal good. Um, and I would want to uh, draw it away from then being a completely uh, economically understood activity into uh, being a societal good and with all of the societal responsibilities and political responsibilities that that entails, uh, which I believe would be then having um, a state that is um, asked to be um, accountable and accountable in an international community. How do you get those private providers accountable? How would that work? How does that work?